Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, so I got asked by uh, quite a few people to make a tutorial on some of the music I've been making with Nano Studio, which you can see right there. Um, specifically, a song that I had some vocal tracks in. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you kind of a little bit of a rundown of how I built the song, um, how I implemented Nano or Improvox into Nano Studio, and then uh, yeah, just give you a quick little rundown. So first, I'm gonna open up uh, Nano Studio, which I've got down here, or I'm sorry, Improvox. Um, Improvox, if you haven't seen it, um, hold on, turn my turn my stereo down. Um, Improvox basically works by plugging in your headphone mic or some other line in mic and recording uh, vocals but with multiple harmonies, different effects um, you have harmonies over here, different effects over here um, so basically you can just you know set your key range down here if you know what key you're singing in um, in my case for uh, <laughs> For this road, I didn't. I had to kind of just thumb, thumb through and figure out which harmony sounded the best, and I was like an F sharp or something like that. So um, you have to use the headphone jack with this app. Uh, like right now, I'm plugged into my stereo, and if I turn the stereo up, which you'll probably hear, you'll start hearing it feedback um, as even if it, as I'm talking into it. If you can probably hear that. Um, so yeah, so here's a little space echo for you, but yeah, you need to use um, you need to use your headphone mic or some other headphone mic so you don't get uh, feedback. Um, but basically, what I did is I had some of the song already done. Um, I had the melody written. I came in here and hit record. Um, I recorded the tracks. Um, as you can see, they're in there. They're right there. Um, and I'll just play one for you. If it'll play, let's do that. So that might have been a little quiet. Um, do that one. See if that works. This road So yeah, so basically I, I recorded my four parts. I'm gonna turn my stereo back down because that's pretty echoey. Uh, record those four parts in here. Um, when I was done, it allows you to export them um, via email. So it just, you can email their, um, their M4A files. Um, so um, obviously I couldn't just import those into Nano Studio. So when I was done, um, I got them. I emailed them to myself. Obviously, got them on my PC. Um, I use uh, I use SoundForge um, to edit all my waves. So basically, I just open it up in SoundForge, cut the waves up, um, and then pasted them into the TRG16. So um, I'm gonna load that song. So here's the song with those vocals. Um, as you can see in the green is where I have the Improvox tracks. Um, I have them on bus 2 because I added some extra delay and put a, a high pass filter on the vocals to kind of give it more of, get, to get rid of the bass tones um, and give it kind of that washed out kind of sound. Um, so yeah, so when I, you know, I chopped up the waves so like as soon as I hit the button, you know, um, I can turn the stereo back up now. Um, as soon as I hit the hit the sample pad, so yeah. Um, so yeah, and that that was basically how I made the vocal tracks. Um, it actually came together really quickly. I was just driving 
driving home from dropping my girlfriend off at work and came up with the melody and came home and recorded it and um, chopped it up and put it in there. Um, so the other things that I, the other thing that people kind of think were wondering about was was the chime sample. Um, I have those on the red ones. Um, and if you go if you edit the the sample waves if if you want to load a sample, basically you go to an empty empty bank uh, on the TRG sixteen, um, and you go to um, load, and then I have a couple of my own my own folders in here, and then you go to wherever your wave file is that's the right format, and plug it in there. Once you do that, um, nope, uh, once you, oh, there's a text message for you. Once you do that. You can then um, the most importantly is is like the group and the key mode. Um, key mode makes it basically you know controls the parameters of what happens when you touch the pad. So if you have it in loop, it plays the sample until you let go. So if I just t tap it, you can hear the sample stops when I let go. But if I hold it, um, it keeps on playing. So for the intro of the song, um, which you can hear like this, I'm just tapping. So I'm hitting three times. And then um, as the song progresses, um, I'm going to show you. You can see that there's multiple hits there instead of just instead of just one hold um, and then as the song goes on as it goes into this one um, the next part it shows just one bar because that's me just holding the sample pad down um, so there you heard the uh, the chimes um, on their own. Um, so yeah, the um, importing wave files into the TRG16 is super powerful. Um, allows me to you know do a lot of stuff. Um, the other stuff that I like to do, um, which is really helpful, is resampling. Um, so basically, let's say you know. Um, you create a synth part, like right here you can see that I have track 2 just completely wide open because I have a couple more ideas that I want to do. Um, but um, if you play it, like I can play a synth part um, and I'll just do it for fun just to kind of show you. Um, let's just get that back here and we'll put that right there. Um, what do I have on track two? Um, so yeah, we'll just do we'll do something like that. So if I hit record, we'll do that. So I can now, you can see the audio that I just did right there on track two. Um, 